control over the franchisee, fail to uphold quality standards, you cancel their lease. I guess he's about to can he's about to close himself. End result, you'll have the bank franchisees in the palm of your hand. If I were to do this, uh, there's the uh, effectively would be yes. So, what do you say, Ray? Is he You're hired? That's what I would say. You're hired. You are hired. <laughs> Ab absolutely. Um, what did? You, and I love this um, segment. It's in YouTube because it breaks down the different steps of the sale. Some really never, good. Never saw that movie. I got to watch that. How how important? What did he do that made him unique in that sales presentation? What did he? he a, what did he, he was do? A problem solver. Good point. Build on that. What he? What? What did? Did Ray Kroc even know? He knew he had a problem. No, he was a. He he presented the problems. He stacked it, one after another, and then he created solution to each individual problem. What's my favorite line that I say all the time? Hey, Mr. Skullnick, can I tell you the truth, or should I just leave you alone here? Because I think you might need to hear the truth, but I don't want you to be mad at me. Is it, can I, can we be transparent for a moment here? And I'll yeah, take that, a, sound, that sounds I, pretty serious. Mr. Skull, Mr. Skullnick, I'm going to take off my salesman hat. You take off your prospect hat. Let's just have a little veracity here for a second. Can you handle the truth? Jack Nicholson. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Claude and, um, and Dave, I just want to challenge that for a second. Um, do you think he would be in the bank if, if Ray Kroc didn't feel like he already had a problem? He felt like he needed something. So he was seeking a solution. But this young man presented him with a, a paradigm shift, right? Uh, different good. solution. So I, I think I think Ray Kroc identified that he had some issue, but maybe just wasn't sure what it was. So uh, how do you correlate that? Sellers think they need to sell the house. Sellers need, think they, they, they only have one solution, right? So Ray Kroc was in a bank to get money because he had a cash flow problem, maybe. I'm not sure uh, why he was there. Cash flow is the lifeblood of any business. We think, well, I own, I'll give you an example. I used to, uh, when I first got started, we had a big chart on the wall with all the properties we owned. And I was doing these properties and I was getting $50 a month from one property and a hundred from another. And I still had a cash flow problem because I wasn't making enough money in my business. And I came to realize that the money in real estate is the way you make money and survive in real estate is you have to increase your cash flow enough, not just accumulate capital assets, okay? You can buy a house today, $100,000 under market and then rent it out, but is that gonna solve your cash flow problem? Probably probably not in most cases, okay? Here, I'll show you on my desk. This is, these are, these are notes, contracts. This is just from today. You can see the receipts on them and stuff. I've, I discovered that creating contracts, assigning proper, finding properties and assigning these properties and financing them with my, with my own notes, I would get cash flow for years and years out of that situation. So and that was Ray Kroc's problem. He didn't know that the money was being made financing the land. Okay, so that's a big, that's a, and this guy showed him, hey, it was a, it, it really, it comes across so well in that screen, doesn't it? That he said, hey, buddy, you're looking at the wrong end of the problem, which is in many salespeople do that all the time. Why are we in business? To make money today. To make money today. Make money today. But everybody says, oh, no, I just want to network with people. I just want to reach out and everything. We're in business to make money today. And you better focus on that because the, because the cable bill comes every month, doesn't it? Okay, absolutely. He, he threw gasoline on the fire to get this guy emotionally involved. Then he showed him the resolution. And what about? I couldn't argue it. Question: What about the danger of pissing off the prospect because you're telling them the truth? What about? Is it worth it? Yeah. Please say yes. Well, Everybody, well, not yes. yes. If you're it's controlling it, the conversation, absolutely. Later. Yes. Why is what's the one thing especially, I always especially if you set them up the way you presented it to me? If I wanted to hear the truth, or do you want to, you know, you want me to lie to you? 
What did the prospect do? What did Ray Kroc do when the salesman coming right out of the bank said, hey, I want to talk to you a minute. Here's my card. What did Ray Kroc immediately do to the guy? Shut, shut him down. Blew him off. Immediately. And so he had to capture his attention and he had to say something abrupt or I don't remember what it is. Sales have a problem. You have a problem. You got a big problem. You're in that bank because you need money and they didn't give it to you. I can help. Would you like, if you can give me a minute, I can help you solve that problem today. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I think maybe we're too well-mannered. Okay. And we, you know, we got that little devil and angel on our shoulder. And sometimes the angel is saying, no, don't do it. Uh, They'll, they may not like you. It's dangerous. Don't do, they'll reject you. And I'm the devil in a little red suit with a pitchfork saying, no, go for it. Do it. Do it. Sounds like you wrote, sounds like you wrote that scene. (laughs) <laughs> let's go to another one i got you guys enjoying this is this fun yeah this is great a little bit different today oh this is one of my favorite this is the world one of the world's greatest salesmen i love i love this video selling on street 